What's up guys? I got a new bike. All right, so I've been trying to find a 250 two-stroke for years now, and I haven't been able to find one, and I've been wanting a project bike. I, I like older model bikes. I think they're sick, the old Jap bikes and everything. And so I've been trying to find one. I came across this. It's an 04 RM250. Um, the guy that I got it from, he actually put some good money into this thing, and it's actually got updated forks. I'm gonna send them to Galvin at Evo. Y'all know I use him. I'll leave his information down in the description below. But I'm gonna get into this thing. I'm gonna start pulling the graphics off. I'm gonna strip it down. I'm gonna set off the suspension today. And then we're gonna pull the motor apart just because it's a used bike. I don't wanna be riding a motor I don't know really anything about. So I'm gonna pull the motor all apart and we're gonna just rebuild this thing basically. It's already good, like it starts, everything about it. It's just, it's all good. But I don't wanna be riding something I don't know anything, everything about. So <clears throat> I'd really like to not die. Dying is bad. We don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna pull this thing all apart, clean it up and make it my own thing. So this is gonna finally, Finally, I get to do my own two-stroke 250 build on the YouTube. So I'm pumped, so let's get into it. This is my old number play off my 2018 450, and it actually fits, it kind of like, it sits up a little bit high, so when I bolt it down, it kind of like bowed it out, so it's like, it's a little bit like squished, but whatever, it's sick. So for those of you who don't know, I've always been number 529, and then just this past year, I switched to 718 for my pro number. 529 wasn't available, so I switched to 718. So for me, it's like a sentimental number. It was my aunt's birthday. So it's like a cool thing for me. But 529 was always my number. So back then when I was on Suzuki's, that was it. So that's pretty cool, it fits on there. Um, but <clears throat> this thing is so sick. This thing's cranked up like so high in the rear end. I don't know how much sag this thing has on right now, but I feel like I'm sitting like a mile up in the air and the forks are dropped all the way flush. So like I can't make the front end match the rear end anymore. So I feel like I'm sitting here doing this number here, but check this thing out. Oh no, that's not good. That looks good. It's got some pitting to it, but. Well, I'll put this rag down to see if I can catch any like chunks and there's dirt obviously, but you can see like, it's spark got sparkles to it. So I'm wondering, it looks like aluminum. That could be like clutch material. So this piston looks good. It's clean except for a little bit of carbon here, but that's not bad. Then if we pull this down, Light here. The cylinder doesn't look bad except for right. You can see there's a spot right across that bridge. It doesn't have any cross hatchings. Alright, so I got I'm pulling the clutch out. Like I said, we're just gonna strip everything down, transmission all of it, we're gonna inspect it. <clears throat> it had the clutch material. So underneath the clutch press pressure plate, you got this. This is what pushes on your um, a pull rod and then a push rod, whatever you want to call it, and that pushes the plate up. 
there's supposed to be a washer on top of this and there was not and you can see this is cut just a groove straight into that that's not good so <clears throat> whoever assembled this last did not put this washer it's supposed to go on top of this roller bearing and willing to bet that's where all this um silver metallic we're seeing inside the motor so it's a good thing we pull this thing apart to check this out because that probably could end up freezing up at some point and that would have been bad all right guys we've been working on the bike for a few days now i've got the suspension shipped off so i didn't mention before this thing actually came with ride engineering clamps on it so that's pretty cool there um suspension has been shipped off sent to evo of course as always i always send all my stuff to evo um i have rehoned the cylinder i say rehoned it's been honed down there's still got some lines in it and so it's still got some lines in it and obviously that's not ideal but honed it got it cleaned up it looks good in there um those lines you, they're not like bad grooves here's the old piston the guy said it's only had five hours on it so something was going on here that's not right you can feel these grooves they're not just like they're not smooth like i can i can feel those right um the crank i did mention this before i forgot about it actually this thing actually has a pro x rod on the crank so that's sweet so i'm pumped on that so i got a good crank in this thing and this is the crank that came out of it and the crank looks good so when you do these cranks it should have a little bit of side to side slack like this right but if it's got up and down slack then you're in trouble there's no up and down slack it's got a little bit of side to side but that's normal it should have that so i'm pumped on that um i wanted to give you all an update on something i learned that i said earlier in the video that this roller bearing was missing the washer right well on some bikes the roller bearing is its own deal and there's kind of washer on top of that i've seen that before this bike the roller bearing is was literally just upside down okay so when the roller bearings upside down like it was there's nothing rubbing against these two but each other right so there's nothing to prevent that friction so there's added friction now these bearings are rolling into this aluminum steel against aluminum that's not good right you don't want that combination so that's bad so this steel bearing is supposed to be riding on the other piece of steel now this flush piece is going to be sitting on top of or into the pressure plate there well these these bearings are only so big so that's how much surface is going to be pushing up against there you don't want that that's bad that literally could have caused the motor to seize up over time that could have cut in enough could have got enough material throughout the motor could have trashed some other gears not good could have made a lot of stuff go wrong so with this right here it wasn't missing anything so if y'all have one of these bikes you know just put it like that and you're good all right guys the last thing i want to show y'all before i let you go on this one so i'm going to be putting a moose piston back into this thing okay now <clears throat> i hear all the time like moose parts are junk right you got the wrist pin the rings the circ clips right does not come with a wrist pin bearing so if you do end up buying this and i've seen other kits do the same thing you need to buy a wrist pin bearing on the side okay it does not come with one so they got a little instruction deal in here if you need it this moose piston is actually a vertex piston okay so people will say like oh moose parts are junk R the rims by moose are actually made by did the two stroke pistons are made by vertex and the four stroke pistons are actually made by cp which are very good pistons in case you don't know that's what i'm going to be putting in here for the top end i get asked all the time like what kind of parts this is just a stock spec this is not a big board it's not a, you know whatever it's a stock spec pistons what's going to be going back in here I'm probably not going to be doing anything fancy to this motor. It's good. I forgot to mention before, it does have poured and polished in the cylinder. And I'll let you guys check this out. I don't know how much y'all know about this stuff, but if you look at the porting job through here, the porting in this thing is pretty gnarly, dude. Like if you look at these walls, how narrow these walls are through here. This thing was ported pretty freaking good, dude. Like, and I, I say pretty good, like a lot of porting got v-force reeds like these v-force reeds look like they're like brand new dude like these all the pedals these things look like they're brand new so this thing's got some good parts on it so as far as like mods what am i going to be having on this bike well as of right now it's going to have just this stock replacement moose piston it has the full pc exhaust the v-force reeds the ported polished head and that's it for performance right i'm going to be running 50 50 c12 with pump and probably maxima k2 um 40 to 1 is what i was recommended also i'm going to be 
swapping out these plastic. I, I'm not a fan of the restyle kit. I know some people are. I'm going to do an installation video on this restyle kit. If y'all would like to see something with that, let me know. Um, the restyle kit looks like it bolts up pretty smooth. So I'm going to be making a video just showing you guys how it does or doesn't bolt up. If there's anything you guys would like to see, anything you have recommendations on on this bike, whether it be performance or you think it would just be cool for the channel, whatever it is, let me know. Put a comment down below. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. I will see you guys on the next one.